everyone, so I went to the Sephora VIB Rouge Beauty event last night where I was able to apply my 20% off coupon a day early and I have before me on a little table the spoils of my uh, campaign through Sephora. I feel like it was a war. It was like a battle. I came in with a list. I posted that list on Instagram. I'm just going to tell you all that list was sort of like a starting point. I did not really completely stick to that list. There's some things I didn't get and there's quite a few things I did. Also, a few items in here I got during the friends and family sale, which was just a couple weeks ago. I've been a naughty girl. So speaking of that, friends and family sale, I picked up this Glam Glow gift set, which I know you can get other places, but I got it here. And um, it's the full size of the Thirsty Mud and then tiny little travel sizes of their other masks. I personally love the white mask when I get blemishes. It really does work. I put it on my kids. And um, this one, I don't know if it really works or not, but it's fun to use in the morning sometimes. But this one is fabulous. Love, love, love. You will be seeing this in my November favorites. Just look for that. Um, the other thing, the couple other things I picked up during the friends and family sale were this little bite gift set. Comes in this cute little tin. Um, it has a lovely mirror in here that has fallen off numerous times. And then inside are four smaller versions of, of their matte lip crayons. And these are all very pretty colors, and I wore this one in my Halloween one, I believe, and y'all uh, remarked how pretty they were. Very creamy, not particularly drying, nice little, nice handy little present. And then I also picked up, maybe this was what I was wearing, this was what I was wearing, is a cashmere lip cream. It is like, it goes on like a lip gloss, but it's truly a liquid lipstick. And I got the shade Crianza. There are many shades to choose from. I really love bite so segueing into that i'll try to be organized they have these little mix and mingle stocking stuffers from bite they're small like travel size versions of their products and so basically i just bought a bunch of them so one thing i got was their deluxe lush fruit lip gloss in current which looks like this and swatched i have to say actually not that impressed but i bought it anyway it's kind of sticky too so I don't know, we'll see. That's a review coming. That's what it looks like. This is probably something if you wanted a natural kind of lip, I don't know. Um, there's other choices. Smells luscious, smells kind of fruity, hence the name. Um, so I'm curious. I, I like buying these little random things because it gives me a taste of what the product is like. I don't have to pay for the full size product. And if I end up loving it, then I will of course go on to buy more in a bigger size. And if I hate it, then it wasn't that bad um, to pick up. The other thing I bought from them is another one of their double-ended lipsticks. And then this one is Fig on one side and Date on the other. And these are again pretty neutral. That's Fig. And it looks like, ooh, wait, I don't wanna break this. Looks like that. And then date, it's more of a brown. I think it's that Kylie Jenner lip. Kind of is, very on trend, and it looks like that. So those are cute, and you may notice that I bought a lot of lip products. I'm just warning you to be on the lookout for that. Um, okay, during the friends and family sale, the other thing I picked up was another one of the Benefit Gimme Brows. Love this and a full-size version of the YSL Baby Doll Mascara, which again, I also love. Now on to the rest of the stuff. So this I have on. I really don't own a lot of Laura Mercier. I think I only own two products, the Secret Camouflage, which I'm not sure, and the Loose Transparent Powder, which actually I really love, and I'm wearing it now. So I've heard a lot about their caviar sticks, and I've never tried them. In the store, you can get uh, the four pack, which I will show you. I'm wearing them now. Online, I believe they also have a six pack. This is $38 before the discount for four caviar mini caviar sticks, which I think is a great price. I am wearing it in the shade Amethyst right now with a little Mac Kid blended out in the crease, but it comes with Moonlight and Amethyst. I'll just do a quick swatch and rose gold, ooh, ooh, and cocoa. Wow, that's very dark. There they are. 
So they're very shiny right there. And I just took amethyst and drew it all over up into the socket and then blended it out with a synthetic brush at the very edge and then blended it with Kid. Um, I don't really know how to use these, so I'm gonna be doing some research on YouTube to see other people use them in tutorials on how to use them, but they're very kind of user-friendly. So I'm glad I picked those up. I have a feeling there'll be more of these in my life. I also picked up the Sephora um, Universal Atomizer. I just got mine in pink. It's like the Travelo. I seem to have accumulated quite a few pretty large vials of Tom Ford perfume and I thought it would be more user friendly to decant them and put them all in one atomizer. And then I think I have enough to actually fill this thing and I haven't bought any Tom Ford yet so that's kind of a cool deal. Also got a tweezer. This is just your basic slanted tweezer from Tweezer Man except it's pink. It's just easier to find. I find that when I put, when I travel and I put my tweezer in with my brushes or my travel bag, I lose it in all the brushes. So maybe hot pink will be easier to find. This is Lisa SEO 9's fault. She told me I needed to try this. It's the Lancome Grandiose Mascara. And it's in that weird, I don't want to open it because I'm not ready to use it yet, but it's in that weird shaped, you know, kind of has the gooseneck or swan neck or whatever you want to call it. So that is after I use up my baby doll. That will be my next thing. I also picked up, this was hard. I picked up a NARS Audacious Lipstick. I haven't even opened mine yet. Aha, and it has a magnetic uh, top, so it will never come apart in my purse. And I picked it up in the shade Anna. Um, there was a lot of swatching going on last night. I just feel like when I'm gonna spend this much money, it's $32 before the discount. So it looks like that. I want it to be a shade I'm actually gonna wear a lot. I don't want it to be a special occasion shade. I want to get my money's worth out of it. So this is the one that I picked up. And I met a really awesome subscriber and I forgot your name. I'm so sorry. She's moved here recently from California. She's absolutely beautiful. She has beautiful blonde hair all tousled up on her head. And we were both wearing Hunter Rain boots. She has excellent taste in shoes. And we like hung out all night and she told me to go check out the Smashbox uh, what are these called? Smashbox, um, Be Legendary Longwear Lip Lacquer. And I got it in the shade Keepsake, which is what I have on right now. I've had it on about half an hour. How's it look? Um, I think it's a little less expensive and I really like the color range and I feel like it's much more pigmented, feels nicer on my lips. So, so far so good. I have a feeling I'll be buying more of these. So thank you my new subscriber friend whose name just gone. Um, I'm really, I'm, I apologize. I'm really bad at remembering people's names. Like sometimes I forget my kids' names. I'm just saying, okay. Um, another subscriber purchase. They, um, I had the Solid Beauty Blender cleanser on my list and a viewer actually came up to me while I was grabbing for it and told me not to buy it. And um, she said that the Sephora one, there's a Sephora brand one. It's the Solid Brush Cleanser. And she said this one is much better, slightly less expensive, and it comes with, I haven't opened this yet, comes with a little, br ooh, like, a, like you know how Sigma has that brush thing? It comes with this. Totally awesome, thank you. Yeah, check that out. So you can rub your brush against it and really get it clean, and it's supposed to, ooh, it's got argan oil in it, I think. It smells really good. I picked up another Bare Minerals Concealer in Bisque because there's nothing better at concealing raised blemishes. There just isn't. It's gross, but it's true. I picked up my second NARS blush. I got NARS Madly, which I am also wearing today. It is the least exciting color in the world, but it's really easy. It's easy to wear. I wanted to get Dessore as well. Um, it's a little pinker than this, but they don't carry it in the store. And I'm debating if I'm gonna buy it because I spent more money than I had budgeted. So I'm gonna have to think about that. Lisa SEO9 told me to get the Urban Decay um, lipstick in Naked and the matching lip liner, and I did swatch them, and they were a little browner than I would like on me, but I did pick up a lip liner called Native, which I really liked in the store, and I tried to buy a color I don't already have, because I find myself buying the same color over and over again, and it's right there, and it would look really good with this. I bought a backup of the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer because I am almost a pan on 
the one I have and I love it and I love how it smells and 20% off, now's the time to get it. Okay, oh, this I got friends and family, but I just wanted to show you, it's the NARS Sheer Glow. This pump, however, does not come with it. This pump I ordered, um, I bought it actually at the Mac store, but you can order it online from Mac. That little pump, I think is six or seven bucks and it fits into the NARS, <clears throat> excuse me, into the NARS foundation as well. I did forget to mention one thing. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I got mine in the lightest shade, Chantilly. And I have to say, for those of us that are the whitest people in the world, this is the first under eye concealer that is actually lighter than my skin tone. That actually brightens. Now, can I use this for blemishes? No, I definitely have to get vanilla, which I don't think I'm gonna do because I do have my clearance that I just bought. and That's just a little excessive, but if you're a paley, paley, paley white person and you are looking for the lightest under eye concealer that will actually brighten, I don't have anything on under my eyes except this. I don't layer this with any kind of color corrector. This is what it is. Holy bingo. We've got a game changer here, folks. Don't know how it wears because, like I said, I've only had it on a few hours, but so far, thumbs up. I saw this um, in Florida Forest's one of her videos. She did a haul. She was in New York City recently. And she picked up this little baby hourglass um, opaque, what are these called? Rouge, opaque rouge liquid lipstick. This is in canvas. And um, I haven't taken it out of the box yet, but I was intrigued. And this is the little baby size. It's only $10 instead of whatever it is. Again, I bought the hourglass ambient blush limited. Is it limited edition or is it permanent? I don't know. This is called the lighting blush palette. And it comes with Luminous Flush, Incandescent Electra, and Mood Exposure, which I already have. But, I mean, oh, they're so pretty. And, uh, I don't know what was I, I don't think you're going to see much there. But that's what it looks like on my fingers. I have no skin left, I think, to swatch. Kind of, sort of, on the edge there. I don't know. I'm sure you'll see this in a video. I still do regret not buying the ambient lighting palette, the setting powders. So I'm a makeup collector. It's so pretty. I had to, I don't know. The last thing I bought was not even remotely on my radar, but it's my favorite thing. And if you buy it one thing, you must buy this because it's limited edition. It's not coming back as far as I know and you cannot buy them. Sephora does not carry these items individually anymore. It is the Sephora Endless Kisses Glossy Lip Pencil Edition. It's $28, and what do you get for $28? You get these, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, did I just say eight? Eight glossy lipsticks, crayons. And you cannot buy, they used to carry these individually, and they don't anymore. Damn you, Sephora. They used to, when they were sold individually, they were $13 each. So $28 for eight is a really good deal. And I'm gonna swatch the whole thing on the back of my hand. I'm just telling you, of all the things that I bought, um, this is by far the, my, the thing I'm most excited about. In a million years, I would have never guessed that this is what I would have walked out of Sephora with going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So. These are also great if you wanted to buy these, if you had like lots of girlfriends or younger girls that you wanted to buy stuff for, you could break these up and make the stocking stuffers. This does not do this justice, but this set is, oh my gosh, that smells so good. They are just beautiful and so pigmented and every single color is wearable. But anyway, that's, that's everything, which I think is, a, it's, I think it's a lot. Um, and hopefully some of this is on your list or hopefully some of this isn't and maybe you're interested. If you have any questions specifically about any of these products, um, please leave the questions in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer it. Like I said, I haven't used a lot of this stuff yet, but I can give you some first impressions. I can tell you about some stuff that was on the list that I chose not to buy. I chose not to get a new press powder. I'm just gonna use what I have. Um, so yeah, so anyway. Happy shopping, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. My swatches. Okay, I am just leaving K. Charles. I totally changed up my color, 
and I really like it. I wanted an ashy blonde, and this is as ashy a blonde as I'm gonna get because 